Hello and welcome back to Tops Web. Uh, this week we're going to just do a very quick video on the uh, JCE toolbar. Uh, this is a WYSIWYG toolbar uh, that is a replacement to the administrative side, the uh, editor that's in Joomla uh, for editing articles. And i uh, show you real quick what I mean here. Um, this right here is what comes standard with Joomla. It is the tiny MCE uh, WYSIWYG toolbar. And it's, it's, it's you know, for all pract practical purposes, it's excellent. I mean, it does everything you want it to do. You can bold, italic, underline, do all those different things. Um, and just so you know what it looks like without a WYSIWYG, it looks, you would have to edit like this with the code, HTML code in, in there. So what the WYSIWYG does is write the code as you write it and format the text it, and add images and so forth. It will write out the code in the background. Um, what WYSIWYG stands for is uh, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. It is what you see is what you get. Real technical, huh? Um, and that is what it what it what it does. So now what JCE's toolbar is is just a lot more fe feature rich. And in fact, on every Joomla site that I I do, I uh, that I administrate. Let me be clear about that. That I'm the one that's going to be administrating it. I add this toolbar to it because it makes things a great deal easier. And uh, I really wanted to give you a quick video on something you can do to enhance the administration side as opposed to always you know everything being on the front end being for the front end website so with that let's get going um, let's cancel out of here we don't need this article and what you'll do is go to extensions and install it um, I should tell you first and download it but it's pretty obvious you'll hit download and follow any instructions um, now I've already installed it but for those of you have not watched previous videos you'll go to extensions install uninstall which will bring you here to your extensions manager and you'll just browse to the location that you've downloaded the the uh, component zip file in my case it's uh, I don't know if you can see this or not com jc1574 this is when I, I don't know it's maybe a there might be a newer version that's one I keep because I, I do, like I say, install this pretty frequently so I just have a local copy. And uh, you'll upload the file and install it. And when you do, it'll, it'll tell you that it's successful and give you a number of things here. Uh, it, it'll insert some text here, uh, not permanently, just to show you that it was completed and give you some information. Um, the first thing it will do is add this new uh, JCE administration, uh, uh, I guess, tool feature in your men components menu. And you can go over here to the control panel. And it's very configurable. Um, show you real quickly on this setup. You can add the gzip compression. Um, these are some of the things, uh, half the stuff I'd never use. In fact, I, I never even really set any of this up. It automatically just starts working. And I'm going to show you how to make it start working because sometimes that's, there's a little trick to that one actually I found on this particular site. Um, most sites I've done, it's been very simple, but I had a little trick on this one and I found that it's a common issue. So that's good. I'll get to show you that. Um, so this is the configuration groups. In case there's a default and a front end, uh, obviously that this you can set this up or there where if you're allowing people to come in and write into your site, um, write articles and post them into your site, and you have uh, authors or editors, I guess you could and that come in to the site. They can you can also turn it on for them. Otherwise, it by default is just for the administrators. Um, plugins. These are all the different things. There's three pages of this, all, all the different little buttons. You can turn them on, turn them off. I don't, I guess there would be a reason to turn some of them off if you wanted to slim down the toolbar. As you'll see here in a moment, it's, it's uh, extensive. 
and the install, I, geez, I don't really know. Um, let's go here and look. This looks exactly, I guess there's plugins that you can add. And this is where you would do that, I, was, I assume. I've, I've never had to do that. Okay. Anyhow, let's take a look at what you need to do to get it going. Um, so you want to go to site and go to the global configuration. And in here, the default WYSIWYG is where, where this is set. And so you'll now click that. You can choose no edit at all if you like writing in code and you can use the JCE if you really like a really great GUI interface. So we'll hit save. Now, every site I've done up to this this very particular one a few minutes ago, <laughs> uh, that's all I had to do to get it to work. Um, but being as things go, um, it didn't work on my first attempt to record this video. So what I found out is that um, you have to go to user manager here and set it as well and I'm not sure whether it's just because when I'm usually when I install this I'm the, the administrator is the only user I have and this one in particular I've added a test user which I don't normally do until later um, and in here there's a user editor you, you have to set it here so you go over here hit JCE there and hit save and you would do the same for any other user now any brand new user it will go off the global configuration that you set just a moment ago under the and it will choose that one as de their default so that one should do it so now let's take a look at what we have and we'll go to content article manager and we'll we'll just go back here to this test Boop, there it is. It usually doesn't take that long to load, so I assume it's just because it was the first time. Now, as you can see, I've got a number of different uh, um, buttons that have been added, and I'll show you the just a real quick uh, overview of this. You know, you still have the same old uh, deals here. You can also hit New Document, which will ask you if you want to clear out the contents of the existing, which you can do. We'll type it back or type something in there and uh, some of the usual things that you see on all uh, WYSIWYG editors but the, the really cool ones that I, I think it, they're on here let's say I type that then I try and I bold it and I said well I didn't really like that bolding I can undo oh look at that yeah that's I'm not sure how far it goes back I, I think I know I've done at least three and no issue I may go up to even 15 so that's pretty uh, that's a really complicated feature to, to program pro, to program and so that's worth paying money for this thing and it's just to know that this is free is amazing because um, undoing and re redoing <laughs> that's worth its weight in gold <laughs> format paint I don't believe uh, that's funny clean up messy code <laughs> um, I don't believe that was in the the previous one it might have been of course you get the emoticons uh, it's something I don't know I find them more annoying than anything else but you can certainly put them in there and there'd be one to turn off I guess this is kinda cool toggle to full screen when you're editing a document you can click this and go to where you have just a complete text editor for the whole entire thing um, this is great when you're, I, I use this one quite a bit, um, you know, you can just uh, finish typing off all your stuff, uh, lorem, ipsum, gutum, gotum, lib, and then you can turn it, just click it to turn it back off. The thing that I think is, uh, that I li or the, the main reason I install this is its link capabilities, um, where before it was, you it was a little more tedious to add a link. Here you just highlight, hit the edit link, edit the edit there, and then you type in the URL. So it's just like using front page or something like that or, or Dreamweaver or something along that lines. I mean it's just fantastic. Let's just make that go to www.topsweb.com. 
and hit insert. You can put the title as you can see. Um, you can print. There's uh, attributes you can set. Now adding an image is even again worth its weight in gold here. Um, let's say we had this clock up here and what I like about it right here is being able to set margins really easily without having to tweak it and doing everything with it. I just most time I, when I put a, I guess it just this something that irritates me with WordPress and all of them. And when you add an image, you you have to go in and, and add the margins in. And um, here with this toolbar, I just hit ten and it'll automatically fill these in. I'm pretty sure I could. Um, and I can set it to the right. As you can see, it gives you a little preview of what it, what it should look like. When you, as you type, it'll surround it from the right with a 10 margin. Um, if you're not familiar with what the margin is, it's the amount of pixels around the picture um, that a text cannot enter. So I don't like the text butting up into the image. You know, it looks looks horrible. So it allows you to do that. You can adjust your picture. I really do recommend making your picture correct. You can get a little lost trying to adjust it here. Um, and then there's borders. I think you can set uh, style. I think you can do a groove. There we go. Let's do a little more than that. Three. Give it, make it a little sunk in look to it. All right. Let's see what that looks. Oh, let's give it a little. Maybe a little gray. Yeah, something like that. And let's hit insert. Alright, probably should have made it a little thicker, but you get the idea. So now when I type, I'm just going to hold down the keys. Okay, that was the worst keys I could have done. But as you can see, it'll just start wrapping around the. Well, okay, bad example. Oh, well, <laughs> helps if it's not all one word. Da, 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 da. There we go. So you get the, you see what I'm going out here. It will wrap around the picture and leave a margin around, not intruding on the picture. Okay. Um, you can insert a read more link, and what that'll do is sort of uh, you have to hit the link to see the rest of it, um, which is pretty nice and page breaks I rarely deal with any of that but if you're doing a print copy out of something out of this because as you know one of the great features of the Joomla is that you can PDF anything that you're seeing so it would be important to put the page breaks in if that's what you wanted to make a good clean printable copy um, so uh, remove the formatting I think we've covered off everything really. Everything else is kind of standard I guess. Oh this is kind of cool if you I don't know if anybody else does this but um, like I like seeing the paragraph tags but it's really not working for me today. Okay. Forget that one. I don't know what that does. And of course you can always go to the HTML code and look at this, the editor. <laughs> you got your undo buttons on the editor. You've got a few little features in here, which are nice. Um, turn on line numbering, turn it off. I think that's just great. The highlight, if, highlight is great for me. I mean, it's like you can really, when you're troubleshooting, especially, you can really find what you're looking for if you're all your tags are in purple see all my text is in black all my formatting is in green so it makes things really attributes are in blue so yeah so it really makes things um, a lot easier than the, the, the standard what comes with it so there you go good luck with that and I uh, really like I say really do highly recommend this uh, module it's to me it's uh, imperative add-on for for Joomla so uh, enjoy. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Please visit us at www.topsweb.com.